Hi, I'm Don Taylor. This is for Communications 1103, and this is my persuasion speech. When I was a little girl, my favorite color was orange. One day I was sitting in my grandma's living room, and she was receiving gifts and presents for her birthday, and everything had pink in it. Everything had pink in it. And she was talking to some of my relatives, her children, just about how much she loved pink and why pink was her favorite color. And from that day on, I decided that pink would also be my favorite color. Pink has to be the prettiest color in the world. Just has to be. You get the combination of pink by having equal amounts of red and white. And when you play with the variations of how much red and white you put in there, you change the consistency or, of how pink or light pink, your pink will come off. Pink has different hues. You can add purple and blue and it makes it a deep color. You can add um, orange and yellow and it makes it like a radiant color. It has a ver all kinds of varieties to it. And those varieties come from as much as like animals, to fruit, to florals, to gemstones, to earth um, colors that are also pink. Pink is seen in the sunrise here in Oklahoma every morning, a beautiful display of it. Pink is seen all through nature, all through other things, like I said, in the oceans, in the air, in the sky. Every aspect of where you look around, you can see variations of pink. Its diversity is one of the reasons why it's such a great color. Possibly, I would argue with you, the best color in the world. Now, the colors that we are around and the colors we wear are thought to be mood enhancing or changing, that they can affect your mood in the slightest of ways. And pink is known as having a calming effect and representing love. There is actually a lady named Kitten K. Sira who was dubbed last year as the pinkest person in the world by Ripley's Believe It or Not. She has exclusively been wearing pink since 1980. She says she believes that there is no other color that brings as much happiness as pink. And I'd have to agree with her. One of the appeals to pink for others is the fact that it's non-gender. Everybody can wear it. Doesn't matter what box you check. Everybody can wear it and look good in pink. Also, pink has been traditionally known and associated with the qualities of compassion, love, and understanding. It can not only influence those who are wearing its mood, but the perception of those who are around it, according to Vogue of last year. You see, pink is a color that brings peace. It's a color that elicits people's thoughts on good things, positive things, um, exciting things. It just changes your mood to want to be more sweet and gentle and kind to others. And who cannot use that in their lives? So I would argue with you, and I leave you with the thought, that pink is the most beautiful color, the prettiest color in the world. And if you don't believe me, try putting a little pink on or being around a little bit of pink and see if it does not lift your spirits. Thank you.